What is up, my fellow mobile gamers? Today's video, we got our best beginner's guide for the new RPG gotcha game, Dislight. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up this video is greatly appreciated. My friends, bunch of things we're gonna go over. The game doesn't actually explain this to you, but this probably has one of the best features I have ever seen in one of these RPG games. I personally haven't seen it in any other game. You can grind a mission over and over again, but while you're doing that, you can go ahead and you can grind another level as well. So watch this, all right? So we're gonna go into story mode right now. All right, so what I am currently doing is I am grinding XP, trying to make new characters into food to feed my other character, to level them up, to get them to five stars. So we'll go over here and I'm just farming up this for XP. I got my lineup. We'll hit multi-battle at the bottom. You can go ahead. There's tons of different multi-battle settings, which is awesome. All right, so now we're in multi-battle. Now this is the cool thing, right? If you go ahead and you click this button that is right here next to the stop button, it'll go ahead and it'll have it playing in the background. So you'll notice it says one of 10 right here in the bottom left corner. But we can go ahead and we can go through the menus and do whatever we want to do. But now let's say we want to go ahead and we want to grind some relics too while we're grinding XP. Now the relics are basically the gear, the equipment. You put them on your character for various bonus effects such as attack increase, speed increase, um, crit increase, various things like that. And the game is frozen. Um, okay. Oh my god. Okay, uh, can we play this please? We got this live on camera. Come on, man. Uh, the game is already lagging and horrible connection issues. All right, so we're gonna click this button. It's now auto playing in the bottom left corner. Like I said, we're gonna go over to trials and hopefully it loads this time. Okay, it's not loading at all. Okay, so this game is bugged and doesn't want to work. That is lovely. Uh, how am I supposed to make a beginner's guide and the game doesn't even work? This is ridiculous. What the hell? I've never had this problem before. I don't understand why it's not. It just keeps freezing every time at this point. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Every time I click trials, I get this bug. It doesn't work. We didn't have any problem on my tablet every time I click trials. Look, even if we're not doing the auto quest, look. What is this? I I can't even do the trials. It just freezes. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Uh, this is exactly why I don't spend money in these mobile games because this is a joke. I mean, I can't even do trials. I can't even farm relics. Look at this. Ah, this is a disgrace, man. I, I'm trying to make a best beginner's guide, and this this is what this is what happens. Oh my god, this is ridiculous, dude. All right, so what I meant to say was, when you're doing the multi battles, you can go ahead and do like your trials as well. But apparently, it's bugged to hell right now, and I can't even get into trials to do relics, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but other thing I want to talk about for our best beginner's guide is the espers. I mean, this has become a best beginner's guide into a best bug guide because we're just finding bugs in the game. Um, but your main hero that you start off with is uh, Mona. I want to call her Mana, but Mona. Um, you get her for free. She is really, really powerful. Four star, call her an epic. You definitely want to invest in her. There's no uh, problem investing in her. Like you're not going to regret it at all. She can carry you a very, very far way, especially early game. I highly suggest you invest in her, level her up. She's like your main farmer early game. If you don't get lucky to get like a really good legendary or like another good four star. Another absolutely amazing four star character that if you can get them is this uh, person right here Lynn the white tiger girl absolutely insane abilities I mean she does ridiculous amounts of damage one of the highest damage dealers in the game as an epic I mean does speed down defense down now a three star character this is a really good three star character is Unky Cha Che Cha Unky Cha this dude right here with the tattoos Dude, as a three-star character, you would think they're not that good. Let me tell you, a lot of the three-star characters in this game are extremely good. 
because they have uh, they're very good for situations different situations so that's going to be my second tip that i would say is make sure you save a copy of every three star character because you never ever know when you're going to need them so what i did is i literally every time i pull a three star character if it's my first time i go ahead and i put the little lock key on them so that way i have one of every three star character also i just like to collect characters you know i like to collect all the characters i like to level them up and, and try different combinations i definitely highly suggest you do that because there's really a lot of customization in this game you can really change uh do different builds with different characters mix, mix and match them up some work really well together that you necessarily wouldn't think would work really well together but this guy he's got this passive ability that grants crit rate up and attack rate up to two random allies he's a super duper strong buffer the very first trial you do i believe it's called chronos this guy right here unky he's very very good for that so definitely if you have him he is a three star that is worth investing in jacob is a four star some people don't like him i think he's pretty good his main focus is poison so he can go ahead and he can poison the enemy but he can also give you poison immunity so again he can be very situational but definitely a character that you're going to need at some point for that poison immunity and for poisoning the opponent for pvp battles uh, if you can get Alexa, she's a four-star epic. She's really, really strong as well. She, Her captain ability right here will increase all of your allies' HP by 30%. PvP in this game is called Point War, but she has some awesome abilities as well. Another three-star character that is really good that you also start off with is Drew. Again, you really can't go wrong with him. Definitely worth investing in. This three-star character right here named Q, very, very good support character. Another one that's definitely worth investing in. Has some amazing buffs and debuffs to the enemy like attack down uh defense down a really good three star attacker we have is tang yun tang yun I, I can't say any of these names but really strong abilities even has a basic ability with a 30 percent chance to stun the enemy really really strong three star character that can really pump out a lot of damage so this one right here definitely another three star worth investing in now you're gonna come across these uh st starry mons these little characters right here these are strictly for food so what happens is once you get your character to the maximum level it can go, you're going to need food or duplicates in order to rank them up to get them to the next star. So let's say for instance, we have a character, a three star character, their max out level will be 30. In order to get them to four stars and increase their level cap to 40, we're going to need to give them three three-star characters. Now you can go ahead and you can give them three three-star regular characters. These like uncommons is what you want to call them or whatever, whatever rares or whatever. These three stars, you can use those as food or you could go ahead and you can use your little star mon guys right here. Use them as food. I got 60 of them. The game gives you a ridiculous amount of these. So honestly, you should really never run out of these three-star ones. The big problem comes when you need to upgrade those four stars to the five stars. When you get your max character at four star to level 40, you're gonna need four four star characters to feed them in order to get them to five stars. And that's where you gotta go ahead and then you use your duplicate three star characters to just kind of farm them up with XP and then you kind of just feed them. Now when you need to farm XP, what I'm gonna suggest is you do the practice level right here. You not only get the most amount of experience points for this battle, you also get the these experimon uh, little characters that you can go ahead and feed for additional XP. The only downside to this is you don't get things like um, relics. If we were to go ahead and grind one of these regular levels, you notice that we can get some of these different relics to put on our characters. But, uh, you know, I honestly didn't really miss it too much. Uh, strictly, I would personally say the always do the practice stages. If you're ever running out of gold, you can go ahead and do the DJ contest. The DJ contest can give you a ton of gold. It's a really fun mini game. Uh, many of these features, though, you will not see until you reach a certain account level. So a lot of things are locked behind your account level. Right now, I am in account level 26. 
To increase your account level, you basically just spend stamina. Just the more you play and the more stamina you spend, you'll go ahead and you'll just naturally level up and increase your account level. And then as you do that, you'll go ahead and you unlock all these extra additional features that you see like point war and then you have arena. Um, and then you have stuff over here like bounties, Atlas, the war room, DJ contest. You'll unlock the ability to do club, which is to join a guild. And then you go ahead and there's some tasks for your guild that you need to do. And you get various rewards as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe, my friends. A lot to cover. More videos coming soon. Peace.